I got a patient with 20 years of low back pain that's flown all the way from Germany to get treated here. What if I told you that I could get rid of all his pain in two weeks, but the treatment was a little weird? To fix his low back, we had to do a ton of weird treatments to his jaw, to his knee, to his neck, and a bunch of other stuff. So if you're ready, let's jump right in. Frank, yeah, I'm 39 and I'm a project engineer. Project engineer, gotcha. So I have issues with my lower back since more than 20 years and I tried all the adjustments, massage, needles, heat, cold, everything and it's only temporary. It's gotcha. one week, two weeks. I tried to find somebody like you in Europe. They do it similar but not with an intensive core uh, class so often and so on so i said okay yeah we have tight neck you have neck tight and the big thing for him is he has a big tmj problem tell us about your tmj problem so i uh, grind my teeth at night yeah so when i wake up I, I feel my muscles because they are biting in the night for 20 years or just recently no i think i have it for 20 yeah, yeah, years. yeah he says he sleeps like a rock yes but he also sleeps what on my belly on your belly yeah no matter how much he tells he, he tries not to tell us about the acid reflux I have it when I have a lot of stress at work, but I also have it like at least once a month. Frank, the tank is adjusted on camera today. Uh, X-rays wise, um, like I said, not much TMJ issue on him. Um, he has a huge noggin on the back of his uh, head, big old EOP, uh, and he has an accessory little joint on the top of that. It's little, it's more growth on the top of that point. Tells me he's had terrible posture for a number of years. Um, the atlas is horizontal, about a half wear on the atlas. Um, he doesn't have a ton of degeneration in his back. He also mentioned that most of his chiropractors said how much he has a rotated sacrum. I didn't yes. see that at all. Um, it looks pretty straight to me. Uh, he doesn't have much of scoliosis in his back. Pretty straightforward for a neck issue. And so, um, anyways, check those extras out. Okay, Frankie's x-rays reveal 10 millimeter imbalance and nine degree spinal curve. Here we have 11 millimeter short left leg and eight degree spinal curve. Here we have one half atlas wear, high neck reversal, and a massive EP EOP, I mean big one, and pretty clear lumbar x-ray here. But the guy who cracked also my neck, mm -hmm. he doesn't do x-rays. He doesn't even do x-rays? No, nothing, he's not really a doctor. He's a chiropractor gotcha. in Germany is not a doctor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Scared, it's it's, it's the same scared. in Germany. The doctors are also scared to touch the neck. Yeah, exactly. Because they tell you the... The, the arteries. And yeah, blah, 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 and so on. And you can die and, and so on. Blah, 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 blah. Yeah, but you know, I mean, more people die from crossing the road than from chiropractic. How much pain is this? Uh, a lot. A lot? Okay. Even in my jaw. Yep, good. So that's called a referral point. And so you, because of the years of abuse with your shoulders, have created a referral point from your shoulders to your jaw. Okay, I'm gonna adjust you in the chair. This is gonna adjust the lower part of your neck. And the reason we're doing this is try to give you a little bit of freedom in that scoliosis that I showed you on the x-ray, but also to allow the shoulders to fall you know, like into the slot more, okay? Okay, this one like this way. Excellent. Good. Where do you think you're at with this whole program? The beginning, um, Friday now, I'm already much, much better, but I'm, I want to learn how to keep it when I'm not here. Anymore. Of course, of course. That's, uh, hey, we're working on APANs, we're working on posture, we're working on things to help him um, hold his adjustment, because we can always help people here, like I always say. The issue is not that I can't help you, it's getting to stay. And so that's what he's talking about right now. So, uh, tell us about your revelation last night. So last night was the first time in 10 or maybe... These are his notes, by the way. So here's his notes. My, this, my, is my, just, this is one day. My terrible hand. Yeah, yeah, and see. Revelation. <laughs> <laughs> so go ahead. As first time in 10, maybe 15 or 20 years that I didn't have lower back pain. When he turns in bed. When I turned in bed or even when I get out and go to the shower, I always had pain. What? do you see that's different from what I do than all the other years of experience that you've been to? So the neck adjustment I had in Germany, also strong, not as strong as you, but you are more precise. Mm -hmm. What I like is that you 
approach the problem differently, that you look at the x-rays and say, okay, this curve is maybe wrong or here yeah, yeah, or there. Yeah. So you go more to the point and the other doctors, they just say, ah, which is the pain? Ah, the elbow? Ah, we do only the elbow. Interesting. And then you don't solve where it's coming from. You only so solve the pain. The symptom, and you, yeah. you do not the symptom, you do... Gotcha. The He's going to Hollywood tomorrow. He's going to go to Santa Monica Pier. He's going to go to Venice. He's going to do all the touristy things he can do. Maybe hit Disneyland this weekend too. Maybe. So uh, there's a lot of stuff to hear just not, you don't have to just see me. We have a lot of stuff to do. Look at what's selling you on California. Yeah, you want to do one more breath here? Good. Did you guys hear that cracking before the cracking? That's all the years of self adjusting. We also know that he self adjusts his jaw constantly. We just found that out this morning. And so uh, we're going to try to get him to stop all that. Tell us about the self adjusting. Has that. Have you had success stopping this week? My neck and my lower back, yes. Sure. But my teeth, I thought it was so small that... It wouldn't matter either? Yeah, yeah. I didn't even realize. Did you hear that, guys? Ooh, wee. I'm sorry. Yeah, you're sorry. Your body's sorry. Now, do you feel your right knee right now? Stay, don't move. You feel how it's bent? Yeah, I, yes. Isn't that interesting? Okay, so we're gonna work on your knee here a little bit because you can't seem to straighten it perfectly even though you do, you do an okay job with it. Now he admits he has about 0.5 pain with it, but um, his whole body leans to the left and so we're gonna work on this knee a little bit to see if we can try to loosen it up. Um, I'm gonna work on the popliteus back here and I just wanna kinda see what happens with him. Okay, this is gonna hurt a lot by the way. Just try to bear, through, bear with it the best you can. Remember nose breathing. What number are you at right now? Ten? Pardon me? Right in ten out of ten? Close. It's getting better. <laughs> One more breath. Yeah. Thanks for the warning. How about what? For the warning you did it with very be painful. painful. Oh gotcha. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna work on his jaw. I don't usually do this very this early, but he's having trouble with uh, recognizing when his TMJ is cracking. He's self-adjusting it all the time. So I'm gonna give him a little feedback with hurting him. <laughs> you know it's kind of an oxymoron, but uh, he'll feel it and hopefully that'll help remind him not to, to pop it. Okay. So um, I'm gonna get in here. And when I uh, push on you, I don't want you to clench. So just relax your jaw, open just a little bit, please. There you go. And we're gonna go right in your master muscle. This is the one that's probably always sore. Generally what I say, it's okay to cry because everybody does. And this is generally more painful than the back of the knee, in the nose, at the mouth. And oh. I know, I know, a couple more breaths. One more. For some reason, this side always hurts me. This is the softer side, guys, too. One more breath, one more breath. Yeah. yeah. So, what I'm learning is that I thought um, I need to find a doctor who can fix my issue. But the issue also comes from myself, from my, from my own posture and I was able to sometimes help myself by just adjusting my posture and the pain goes away. Exactly. Uh, his acid reflux is actually getting controlled by the way, his new posture but today I think we're going to make some more, more inroads to that by adjusting his atlas. So um, he had some jaw pressure, still has trouble, stop self-adjusting his jaw but I think this atlas is going to be the trick here. Okay. So. Mm -hmm. Guys, again, this is his first one. 
Okay. So I'm also going to work on his knee here again because he did so much better. I want to straighten that thing out some more, so I'll let you guys watch that. I'm working on this popliteus, which is keeping him from keeping it straight. And he had such a good response last time that I'm going to do it again to um, make sure that we're keeping him um, standing on two feet equally. Okay. And again, we work on this popliteus here. We may have to end up working on his calf too. Right in there. I'm gonna say this feels a little better than last time. Mm -hmm. Even though it really hurts, but it's a little softer. Are you crazy? I am. <laughs> So this is going to hurt a lot. So I'm not going to push really hard, but it's really sensitive spot. And you can feel this already. Woo wee! Okay. The reason it hurts so much is all these muscles in here <laughs> that go down to. <laughs> I'm not even touching them. He's that scared. But all these muscles from the neck and the front are attached along this corbicular line right here. And so we're going to try to loosen it up a little bit. I want to do this side, which is going to hurt you probably even more. But I started with the left side for some reason. <laughs> I'm so looking forward to this. <laughs> okay. Maybe that. Oh, wow. Oh, okay. Now he keeps having pain in his um, jaw when I push on his shoulder. So I'm thinking again, all these muscles are extra tight in here. So this is a way to loosen those muscles up. I think the left one hurt more, huh? Yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, now we can see how that works. But now both arms hang same. Same the difference, right? Yeah, before this one was way lower yeah, and this yeah, one yeah, was yeah. way higher. Do you ever put your hands on top of the steering wheel? Sometimes. Like that? So put it right there just so you can see it. Uh, anything else you do in here? You ever put your hand, you put one on there like that and you put one in the center console, right? No, like this or... Gotcha. <laughs> I like it. I know you do. Okay. Okay, now other positions, anything else? Was it worth it to come this far? Yes, it was worth it and I feel well. And I learned a lot. I knew it's not only the adjustment, it's also a lot of exercise, but it's even more exercise because when I go home, I still need to do all the exercise. I need still need to be conscious about the posture where I'm screwing up to avoid it, to stay good. And with you, I found some who adjust the neck, but not like you. And also, you find why the source is the neck, and when it's screwed up or not in balance, it screws up some parts of the body. But if the other doctors just fix the other parts, it, they will never fix the brain or the, the neck. Next, how mentally draining is this? It's exhausting. I like that there was the weekend, Saturday, Sunday, to calm down, because it's it's forcing on the muscles, but also mentally sleeping every day, do the exercises, write everything down to, to move it forward. But I wanted this, so. Yeah, exactly. Let's go over your symptoms. Uh, you came in with low back pain, years yes. and years of low back pain, yes. searching, searching, searching for, for answers. And how much better is that percentage wise? It's gone. 100% better? Yes. Okay. Right leg pain sometimes? Sciatica, I have that written Completely down. Gone. Completely gone. Completely gone. Yeah, don't even uh, TMJ, it. how much better is your jaw pain? I didn't even know I had an issue with the jaw. I just felt it every morning and I thought it was normal, but now I'm 80-90% better. Gotcha. And that was years and years of just weight waking up with some tension in the jaw. Uh, acid reflux, once a month. He said it was once a month. We have it every day now. <laughs> That's been a whole new issue. Yeah, I, I, but where do you think we're improved on the acid reflux? 
It's also 80-90%. Right? Yeah, and that wasn't even an issue. He thought he had an issue. It, this is the most interesting case I've ever had with acid reflux because he was able to go in and out of the symptom. In and out of it like within minutes and seconds. And so um, burping, he also had some burping this week and burping kept coming up. And how yes. much better is the burping? Also, it's way, way less or it's completely without acid and it's just a normal And again, burp. we didn't even really think there was a problem. That wasn't even an issue. Anything else you want to say that may have improved or gotten worse over the last two weeks that you want to share? I thought I never had an issue with my knee because I got oh, opera right. I operated that. on my right knee from, from an accident uh, with volleyball. But I thought it was very good and I could run, I could do everything. But now I realize here, it's not because it was never straight. Yeah. And now he I'm had it bent all the time. That bending yes. caused him to walk differently. And so chicken or the egg, which is going to, this imbalance cause his knee not to want to straighten out or his knee causes imbalance to be worse. Either way, we've worked on both of it. So it's not like I just do next year. I do other things, but it's all with the guise of trying to get somebody to have better balance. It's been an awesome time. So um, thanks, Frank. Thank you. And uh, he went out and checked out the German stuff we have out here, the German food and German beer. And he says, uh, you know, it's some it's good, some it's bad, but you know, close, 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 yeah. close, close, close. Okay. Good. So again, we adjusted him right here. He's had this adjustment before by other chiropractors, but um, I'm adjusting specifically here because we did a lot of good for him with the neck adjustment, but he needed a little bit extra help. I'll breathe out. Wow, even better than yesterday. No, way better, good. Good. Man, you hear all those cracks, guys? That's all years and years of self-adjusting. Stop it. So you tell them, Frank, how much better is your self-adjusting since these last two weeks? How much less percentage-wise, how much better is that? 95. Yeah. So he was cracking his jaw all the time. We've got him down to doing that once a day, maybe at the most. And yeah. his neck, he, he does it only by accident. Now. Once a week by yeah, accident. By accident, yeah, yeah, by accident. So it pops a lot because of all the laxity in his joint, but he doesn't do it on purpose now. He doesn't feel like, he calls it the itch. He doesn't feel that itch. Yeah. Perfect. Now listen, guys, you can hear this self-adjusting crap he has going on his neck. I am just going to move him here now, not even adjusting him. You hear that? hear that? That's not me adjusting, that's just putting it in a position. So that's the things we need to get to go down. Will that ever be repaired? Uh, it may not be repaired, but again, you put his neck in the right position, he won't have to uh, self-adjust anymore. And so the ligaments will get a little tighter, but they will never completely retract. So that's why I tell you guys not to do it. Come to France. We get better these? Yeah. Come on, these are American. These are so much better. What are they now, Fr uh, Luke? Tell us what I'm they are. Friends. No, Luke, tell us what they are. Oh, uh, you have croissant, you have pain au chocolat, and you have pain au raisin. Gotcha. Okay, well, when you guys come to my office, I expect this crap on Fridays. Thank you, Luke. <laughs>